guys, it's time for a Mustang Medic Update! A lot of good stuff happened this week. Here we go. MustangMedic.com We take the frustration out of restoration. On video. Mustang Medic update. Here we go, guys. Enjoy. We take the frustration. Here it is. The update. Da, da, da. The truck is still running. <laughs> Brian's car. Next phase. Talking about it today with Brian, waiting for the phone call. Truck is going to be over at the SEMA show. I'm going to have it out there. I'm going on the 7th and 8th. Sky is planning on coming with me. Um, I'm going to, we're going to see Bobby there. He's going to be sporting the colors. Ordered a, a uh, Mustang Medic uniform shirt for Bobby now that he's on a steady schedule. Once somebody goes steady, the part time guys that come in, they don't get the uniform. The guys that go get on a steady schedule at Mustang Medic, it takes a little while once we get a steady schedule. And we're like, okay, we love each other. Then the uniform happens. So um, Bobby's uniform is on order. And we'll see him tomorrow with hopefully doing a first start on that beautiful 69 GT. All right. 69 GT. Talked to Bob last night. He um, wants us to do first start. He just has to hear this engine run. He's dying. I want to hear the engine run. I want to hear the engine run. I want to hear the engine run. So we are going to uh, bypass right now before we make a decision. I'm going to be contacting Old School Air and Vintage Air and finding out what the situa situation is with the heater core as pertaining to the air conditioning system that we're going to be putting into this car. Yes, he's going back to air. I'm concerned about vacuum lines because it's a big mess. And it's almost 12 hours of work with a heater core with all the lines and everything. It's not a small project. It's a two-day project. So he wants to hear her run. That's what we're going to do. Granted, she's only got two-inch pipes on her stock pipes. They might leak. We'll find out. Their original pipes made them pretty. Didn't see any cracks on them, but we're going to get them hot. They haven't been hot for a long time. The 85 Mustang, also known as a Zimmer. All the work got approved last night, late last night. Thank you, Danny. Thank you, Rob and his wife. And we are proceeding. This guy's working on brakes back there. You can see him right now. All the brakes getting changed out. Our entire laundry list of the stuff that Bobby found. Danny said, fix it. Do it. So we're doing it. Um, hope to have this car done by Monday for him. Uh, so that's what's going on. 71, metal work still commencing. I'm going to talk to a few contacts that I have. I got potentially doors, replacement doors for Larry, because it's cost prohibitive for us to spend three days on doors. So we're trying to get doors that are a little bit less rusty. There'll be a quicker fix that are structurally sound and put them on Larry's car. We need all the metal work done on his car. I'm going to talk to Larry about going for a running, a rolling restoration. I already sent an email to him. We'll see where he goes with that. Z Pizza is going to be visiting. You guys haven't seen much going on? Carlos, good job. All right, so the um, motor's in, getting ready to prep for first start, and that's what's going on with Z Pizza. All the rims are there, everything looks pretty, gas tank is in. Um, most of the work of the phase has been done. There's still other work, but obviously uh, Z Pizza is a patient client, and I appreciate that. Talk to Harvey, uh, Frankenstein. We're most likely going to replace the towers. We're going to hammer out the, uh, the um, front and back um, fender aprons, and we are going to probably change out the radiator support. I think it's the right way to go. Otherwise, I mean, we could do a front clip, meaning a front clip, what that means is the entire front end's cut off. Here's my weatherman thing. Shop. And we get it from a coupe or something, same year, actually three years, and we put, we weld it in. That's a way of going, costly. So instead of cutting off this whole front end and putting a new front end on, we may just be doing the towers and the hammering and the little bit of filler on the dents that are there to make it look pretty and putting Harvey's car back together. 
but we want to put this car back together and not have to shim it out three quarters of an inch. That's his motor. Everything's been basically taken off. Notice the valve cover. And we are replacing all the seals, the front and back main seal, the timing chain cover, the water pump, and also the uh, valve covers. So that's what's going on with Harvey's car. Behind me, 65 2 plus 2, Gary's car. We're going to start, we are getting a dust, the dustless blasting machine on November 8th. We don't want her to sit gathering dust. He wants to see progress. I respect that. I want to see progress too. Sky is going to get metal tomorrow, and we are going to start bracing. We're going to brace out this car, and we're going to brace out the 71 over there, and we're going to change out floor pans before we actually do the blasting and getting all the rust off it. We can clean the areas where we're welding it. We'll know the new metal. We'll see the old metal. We'll blast the old metal. We'll leave the new metal alone. And then she'll get into primer and get all cleaned up. But this car is going to... And if you want to give a thumbs up to this video because you appreciated just knowing what's going on with the Ford Mustang, we'd appreciate it. So, thumbs up. Mustang Medic videos, please. Thank you. MustangMedic.com. We take the frustration out of restoration. Wait a minute. We've got a Mustang Sky. Let's go! Please look for the link in the description below for the next in our series. If it's not there, come back soon. We take the frustration out.